Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to another episode here in the series. My name is Dominic. And I'm the host of the Android Factory. Last episode, we went ahead and created a Firebase project here, and we added our application to it. If you've missed it, we've been kind of building this little uh, sample e-commerce application that kind of has a bunch of different interactions, and we're continuously building it out here. But we paused a little bit to kind of get Firebase up and running, and while we configured the project in the last episode and even configured Crashlytics and that's working. Today we're going to cover app distribution, a very clean, a very nice, a very simple way to actually generate some builds and get them out to people of interest. You know, at work, this could be someone like a QA team, a designer, um, you know, someone else that's just interested in seeing the progress of your work. And for an individual developer, it could be a friend, it could be uh, someone that you're working on the project with, etc. Right? And as we get started, if you are brand new, please consider subscribing for more content. Smash that like button to help me out here, and let's just jump right into it. So, uh, in the app distribution se section, I believe it's under uh, release and monitor. Yep, app distribution. Go ahead and click get started, and uh, boom, that's basically it. So, the I guess the most important part here is the device that you wanna be testing on needs to have access to a particular email. Because what's gonna happen is we can go ahead and create uh, or add testers to our Firebase project. Um, but for now, we're just gonna go ahead and add, so droidfactory95 at gmail.com is the email that I have associated with our, uh, you know, this whole YouTube channel. Go ahead and press enter, and that will go ahead and now add this tester to this Firebase project. All right, so inside of the email client here for that account, I'm not receiving an email, but I do think that that is just because uh, we haven't added anything yet. Basically in here in the releases, we can go ahead and generate an APK or AAB, drop it in here, and it should be available to the testers that we've defined here. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. We can go ahead and say build, build bundle slash APKs. We'll build an APK, why not? And if we see down here in the corner that it has successfully ran, we can go ahead and click locate and that will bring up, you know, all the way into the correct package here. And we have the app debug.apk file. Wonderful. So if we switch over to our app distribution, we can go to releases here and then we can basically just drag and drop this APK right into here. We'll let it do its thing, upload the file, validating the uh, APK as well. Perfect. Now it has uploaded, go ahead and add testers or groups. This is where the groups come in handy because if you had you know, seven people that wanted to test the app, you'd wanna add them all to one group. So you don't have to add them seven different times here. You can just add you know, one group. But for now, it's just me. And then we can go ahead and click next here and then add our release notes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say first release and then distribute to one tester here. Uh, once we go ahead and click that, everything is gonna look very good. We see that we have one person invited, they have not accepted nor have they downloaded. So hopefully now we have an email in our uh, email here. Yep, and look at that. As we refresh here, we have a new email. We go ahead and take a look at this and we can see exactly uh, you know, this Firebase app distribution working. So there's even instructions inside of this email how to get started. Open this on the mobile device, check. Using your Google account, accept the fake store invitation. Okay, so I just had to go through, sign in to my Google account on the emulator here. Uh, there's some really nasty screen tearing. It never looks this bad. I think it's just an emulator issue. So when you go through it on a personal device, you should be able to see everything. But, uh, you know, it's basically just a pretty standard, you know, yeah, I consent to this idea. Um, oh my God. Okay, look at that. That is just insane. But I think we got it here to accept the invitation. Holy. Okay, that was an absolute nightmare. So I run this on a different emulator, did the exact same setup. Apologize for the little jumpiness there. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and click get started. Hopefully this doesn't have as nasty of tearing. Let me add an account real quick. Okay, there's still horrible tearing as you can see. Start testing. Um, okay, and you can't really see, but at the bottom here, there is this option to actually download the app tester application. And that's what I'm gonna do to get out of this web view. I think, although you can see the button text there, I think it's over here. Yeah. So we're going to just go ahead and download this because I need this to operate on an actual 
app, not the web. I'm gonna go ahead and enable the install unknown apps for this case, um, just a security preference here, but it's totally fine. It's coming from Chrome. And as long as you have this app tester with this icon and you follow those steps there, it is a Google provided application. So it is definitely secure. I'm just gonna go ahead and install this app. That happened very quickly. Uh, and then we're just gonna click open here. Once we open the application here, if you don't have an account, you'll be at this point here. Go ahead and click sign in with Google. Go ahead and sign in with the correct account here. And uh, blah, blah, blah. And then as we go in, boom. Now we can see inside of this application that we do have one release in here. And uh, yes, okay, I can send. This is what the screen is supposed to look like without all the screen tearing start testing on this device and wonderful. Now we have a, an entire view here of all of our different releases. Obviously we just have one at the moment. We have our release notes here and some time frame as well as when that was released. You go ahead and click download at this point if we want. Now remember this is, okay, I need to enable this. Yep, allow from this source, that makes sense. We can go ahead and update here. Um, yep, sometimes Play Protect is gonna come up, especially if it's a debug build or debug variant, we're going to install anyway. This is, again, just kind of for testing reasons, but if you do remember, this application did not have, or sorry, this emulator was um, not one that had this fake store project on it. Um, so we go ahead and click it here, we see that we have it, and now we have the most up-to-date version here. Um, Yep, go ahead and click around and this looks exactly like it was. So sorry if it was a little bit convoluted, a little bit all over the place, but basically you add in a tester here, um, you know, an email is completely fine. You go ahead and upload APKs as you want to this, uh, whenever you're ready, whenever you're ready for something to test or whatever the case is. And then uh, you basically just go through the release process here. Um, this is nothing to do with Google Play, so you're not going to actually release anything to the Play Store or anything along those lines. App distribution is simply a way for you to just distribute applications or distribute variants or distribute debug builds to your, uh, you know, testing group uh, and is really, really helpful and interesting here. So, um, you know, if you want here in the comments, if you want to drop an email, if you're okay with putting that in a public domain, uh, you know, you can go ahead and add in the email um, to the comments and I can add you in as a release tester here and periodically we'll go ahead and actually uh, go through this process. And so you'll be able to see on your own device that you get updates to the application in real time. I think that could be a fun way, a little bit of an interactive way with, you know, the community and whatnot. So if you are okay with putting it in the comments, feel free. If you're not, feel free to also just email me at droidfactory95 at gmail.com. Uh, that is the account that I have set up for the YouTube channel here. So uh, that goes directly there. That'll be quick and easy, you know, ask to just be added in and we'll add you into the distribution list so you can see it yourself. But if you stuck through that, thank you so much. And it was a little hectic with a lot of that screen tearing, but again, I think that's just an emulator issue. Once you do get this app tester here, um, you know, that is really, really helpful. Let me just move that to the main screen. Uh, and, and it's really powerful. The last thing I'll say on this note is if I were to update, you know, the application, generate a new build and drop it here, you will actually get an email that says, Hey, a new version of this application is ready to go. Uh, and then you can go inside of here. You'll go inside of the fake store application, and then you'll just see another release in here and you can go ahead and, you know, upgrade to that one. You can delete certain ones. Um, and you'll just move on from there. So yeah, it is uh, it is really, really cool. I use this, I've been using this for years and it's really, really helpful. Um, so hopefully you guys learned something. If you did, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Other than that, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.